welcome back. Episode 25 of Zero Carb Journal. I'm Matt, and welcome, you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in, following along. Really appreciate it. Great to see you guys. Um, well, here we are, Sunday morning. It's uh, 7 a.m., <laughs> and uh, I am getting a late start this morning for me, and I am just kind of waking up and getting going, and it feels great. You guys have been sleeping in yesterday and today a little bit. And getting caught up on rest and feeling good, doing well. So I hope you guys are all doing great. Um, let's see. So last time I left you off. I left you off on last Friday. I was getting ready to uh, tackle Memorial Day weekend with my buddy and uh, do some work. And I did. <laughs> oh, you know, that was pretty funny. It was great to see my friend. Um and we had a good time hanging out. It was a lot of work. <laughs> I, um, well, yeah, we worked hard. We, we laid in that white fiberglass boat in the sun for pretty much eight hours on Saturday and Sunday. And I got a terrible sunburn. And, uh, you know, it's a little boat. So we were laying down and crawling underneath it. And he was cutting. We were getting covered in fiberglass. It was, it was actual work. <laughs> And it was fine, um, but I uh, I was happy to get a break by the time I got to this weekend, I guess is my point. So anyways, yeah, so I've been working a lot, um, wearing myself out, as I like to do. And, you know, I had a great week. I worked, as I said, all weekend. That was enjoyable to hang out with my buddy, but we worked hard. And then I did rest on Monday, uh, Memorial Day. And then back to work on Tuesday and Wednesday. I worked some long days out there at the boat shop. Um, almost wrapped up my boat, helped out on another one. And then because I'm so close to finishing, I uh, took the last half of the week off again. And I came home Thursday and Friday and I worked on fencing. And, um, and I did that yesterday, Saturday as well. So, you know, I've bought 1,500 feet of fencing in the last couple of weeks and 120 posts and uh, I am working my way through some major projects and feels great uh, to be progressing on those goals of having my fencing tight. I'm going to head into this winter with my animals contained and it uh, feels really good. So I've been working hard. Um, didn't uh, get super fatigued this week um, like I have been. I'm definitely recognizing that I am uh you know, capable of tiring myself all the way out and then really needing that rest on the weekends and uh, the long work week will do that to me um, or I'll just do it to myself with my own schedule. So this week I tried to take it a little easier and uh, and I've been feeling good and strong all week. I did not have um, any more sick episodes uh, after last week's liver fiasco and uh, so I've been feeling good about that. I have been um, starting to have a few different things. I um, let, I don't know if I told you last time that I'd been eating bacon. Um, I had some bacon in my freezer that I hadn't, you know, I'd given bacon a few tries over the last year. Um, it had been something that I felt like made me slightly deteriorate and I kept it uh, in my diet for special occasions. I would have it once a month if I was eating out or something like that. But you know, I realized I'd never tried it without eggs since I've um, now realized that eggs give me issues. So I've been back to trying bacon, uh, just cleaning out the freezer. I haven't had a lot of it, but I've had, you know, maybe half a pack or so over the last week and feeling great. No uh, downsides. So that's kind of exciting. Um, uh, something that uh, I enjoy, putting it on my burgers, and uh, it made me feel pretty good. And so far, so good. So I didn't uh, eat it every day or anything, and I'm not sure if I will. But um, anyways, that was fun to add in. And then, because of the same reason, I have not had any cheese, but uh, I had I've bought, I think, two blocks in the last 18 months or so. And one was uh, sheep cheese and one was something else. And neither of them seemed to have any significant downsides the last time I tried them. But again, I was trying them while I was trying eggs. <clears throat> so I wasn't able to parse, you know, where the problems were. And I suspected cheese might have been giving me some issues. But uh, yesterday or day before yesterday, I ate a couple ounces of some aged cheddar uh, with no carbs in it. It was 
60 days aged or something and made sure it was old and uh and you know what i loved it and it felt i felt great so gonna take it slow with cheese i do suspect that it might have some downsides for me but um and i don't think i'll ever eat a lot of it uh, but it was nice to add it back in and have a little variety. So, um, and I didn't have any immediate repercussions and I didn't notice any, um, lasting issues over the last, you know, in the next 48 hours since it's been, since I've eaten the cheese. So pretty exciting cheese and bacon. And I'm, I'm starting to think that eggs were a real issue for me and that, uh, that they may have been steering me wrong on quite a few things. You know, they, the way that, the way that they affect me is that I don't, feel poorly right after I eat them I actually feel pretty good but I notice that if I eat them continually you know over days I start to have gas and and then eventually they ended up leading towards you know um, multiple bathroom visits a day and some urgency and you know the beginnings of some of my old symptoms so you know none of the real bad ones none of the Real inflammation uh, symptoms seem to come with the eggs, but definitely some of my gastric issues were coming back. Um, subtle, but it enough that uh, that it seems pretty profound now that they're gone. That uh, that I get seem to be able to get back on track. So, anyways, um, pretty excited to have tried cheese successfully and to realize that I can have bacon once in a while. Um, so that's making me feel pretty good. I've been feeling great. I've been eating my burgers, um, eating my thin chuck steaks, and what else did I have? I had a flank steak. Um, I think that's about it this week. Pretty simple. So, yeah. So, great comments from you guys. Thank you so much, you guys, for uh, following along and paying attention and giving me great comments. I got some really wonderful ones. A lot of food for thought. You know, one of you mentioned, oh, maybe the... Um, the liver illness is a function of needing more liver. You know, that's a curious thought. I, I definitely um, am open to the ideas that I may be needing more than I'm getting in terms of nutrients. That's what is why I keep, you know, um, experimenting a little bit here and there. I don't feel like I do. I don't feel any downsides, but I definitely keep trying things to see if I notice an improvement or, you know, any differences. Um, I will say that, uh, that the liver didn't make me feel... Um, better in any way you know i didn't notice any um significant difference from any gain nutrients and it's definitely made me sick twice so i don't know um perhaps you know perhaps i'm reacting to something there but i might the way it feels to me is when my body is short on something it seems like when i eat that i really crave it and it makes me feel good so i don't know how to parse that uh info i'm getting from the liver making me sick i don't know why it's making me sick tried it a few different ways um and it's probably not the last time i'll try it you know but uh because it seems so odd that such a small amount would make me sick and like i said i don't think it's psychosomatic or anything you know it wasn't right afterwards it was much later in the day and i was really feeling pretty positive about eating it so so i don't know about that um in terms of nutritional, you know, needs or thing, I, you know, again, I'm just going to go back to what I can observe because I feel great. I really do. I'm not feeling uh, like I have anything um, that I'm lacking or wondering about. You know, I'm not going, oh, why am I, why is my skin weird or why, you know, do I feel low energy or anything like that? It, everything seems to be um, fairly on track and I seem to be, you know, having my, what am I trying to say here? I don't see anything unexpected in my observations of how I'm feeling or performing or anything like that. I feel really good. I'm getting up, um, ready to go, working out and working hard all day. And yeah, you know, if I do that all week, I, I run down and, uh, and I need to rest for a day. And, um, you know, it's hard to parse <laughs> what's, uh, I, I mean, I didn't always feel that way, right? Like I used to go full tilt for weeks on end, but then of course I'd wear myself down and be depressed and inflamed and tired and I wasn't paying attention. So it's hard to compare, you know, my, my output now, you know, I feel like I'm capable of more output, but I do feel like I'm, uh, you know, it's mandatory that I rest on my rest days. I don't know if that's just being almost 50 <laughs> or, you know, I do go harder now than I used to, you know, I didn't really used to do the hard physical workouts, which I do five days a week on top of my workload. So 
I don't know. I'm not saying I feel like I have less output. I really don't. It's just, uh, you know, when you get to the end of the weekend and that's my rest day and then I'm like, hmm, I'm tired today. I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, I don't know. Feeling pretty good. Feeling lots of energy. Um, my output at work has been great. Last week, uh, the days I did go in, I stayed uh, 10 hours on one day and nine the next, I think. And I felt great. I kept going, got home and same deal, just kept going. So, you know, I do think with regards to not the liver illness, but, you know, the last few weeks of if having one day of diarrhea or whatever, um, I feel like that is probably more likely related to the one meal a day cycle. I don't think that suits me very well. Um, don't get me wrong, my OMAD friends, I'm not picking on it. I do enjoy it. You know, it's funny, I feel great um, when I'm not eating, <laughs> right? But the problem is, is uh, for me, is when I do one meal a day, that when I do eat, I eat so much. Um, and I think that gives me issues. I think my I seem to have problems processing large volumes of, of fatty bits. Like I said, I do think maybe it's ground up tendons and gristle and things that really give me the issues. I don't think it's just fat. Um, I think it's it's connective tissue, really, because that seems to be what comes up when I do end up vomiting. So, But it seems like it's a volume of it. So one meal a day doesn't seem to suit me very well, um, although maybe I'm eating the wrong stuff. But it is what I enjoy eating, so, you know, it's hard to hard to stray from that. You know, I keep wondering, well, maybe it'd be better if I ate, you know, rarer steak or, or something like that. And, you know, I just don't enjoy it. I can't eat very much of that. So, and maybe that's not a bad thing. Maybe, you know, maybe, um, I would eat less and I would feel better and, and all that, but boy, I'm hungry. I'll tell you what, you guys, I just really go hard all day and, um, it just feels like I need to eat a lot. So, I don't know. I'm feeling fine about all of it, but it is, it is interesting to keep going down this path and keep sort of, you know, finding my my way here and uh and having these observations and and insights that that continually are changing. So, I'm finding that really fascinating and uh very rewarding, you know, to continue to be able to pay attention and move forward and make progress. So, yeah, so I'm uh, feeling good uh, in general, overall, physically, health-wise, mentally. I'm I'm staying really positive and uh, looking forward towards progress every day, as I like to do. Um, so yeah, my zero carb experience here at uh, the beginning of June. What is it now? Let's see, February, March, April, May, June. Yeah, I mean it's we're 16 months, anyways, um, of of nothing but you know carnivory and. I'm not doubting it at all. Feeling great. Um, so, yeah. So that's my zero carb experience for this week, you guys. Pretty much staying the course. Enjoying some new foods for me, cheese and bacon, and feeling good about that. Um, continuing to uh, feel like eggs have been an issue for me a long, for a long time and staying away from those. And, you know, trying to avoid my weekly sickness. And I'll see how that goes. I'm going to continue continue this week with uh, trying to eat smaller meals when I do one meal a day and then when I'm not working those long days trying to eat a couple meals a day if I can and split that up and see how that re how I react to that so <clears throat> let's see you know I really I don't have much else to share with you guys right now you, um, I'm working away I don't want to keep talking about that but I'm almost done and uh, I'm getting my fencing all tidied up as I've been talking about and pretty soon here I think I'm going to start, you know, I'm going to actually kick off a real summer uh, and hopefully not have um, to leave here uh, daily to go work on these boats and wear my hands down and um, limit myself from picking up tools. So I'm hoping to make a lot of headway in the coming months on some personal progress. Uh, one of the things is my workouts have really suffered, you know, since I've, I did, I, my, my goal sheet over there says, and in big ladders to save my energy for my boat work because my priority is paying off my debt. <clears throat> so I want to be able to put hours in there. So I've really taken a put my physical workouts in, in the back seat for these last couple months and I'm noticing it and I don't like it. I'm sort of falling off, you know, in terms of my progress I've made over the last few years. Um, and that's fine. Uh, I get going to get to make a lot of gains again, which I'm excited about. Um, 
but um you know i it's important to me to to keep that level of intensity at least in my workouts and and the farther i get away from it the harder it gets to do so this last week thursday and friday i didn't go into work and i did do some long hour long workouts and and really um burned myself out pretty good with those so i could tell i was i was regressing and and you know my lifts are definitely suffering so really looking forward to getting back to that doing my daily yoga getting my flexibility back and really getting myself recentered you know that is one thing about this work schedule it's really sort of thrown me off my um my routine and my routine is one that i've structured over the last couple of years around my health as a priority and my um you know my my ability to stay here and in the moment and stay way up positive um those are all part of that of that date my daily meditations and working out and focusing on myself and that's hard when you go to work every day and spend 10 hours a day crawling around wiggling tools and you know um it's hard to stay focused on my personal progress and fitness and so i understand that that's a difficult challenge that all of us face in a daily busy in a busy modern life you know trying to run around and then um not just find time to work out but to find time to slow down and and focus on you know prioritizing our own health and prioritizing our own happiness and and um time in the moment you know and, and being here right now instead of thinking about all the busy you know things that are going on in the in a modern in the modern life day to day um and i'm feeling that right now because you know i go to work and i have errands to run and take come home and answer all my emails for my stove stuff and i'm still trying to maintain all that and so i'm letting uh my you know focus on on my being in the moment and staying way up and my health slip a little bit so gonna get back to prioritizing that and i'm excited to do that and uh can't wait to put some time this summer into uh you know into myself my mental state and my stove stuff and get back to prioritizing you know things that are really important to me and uh but in the meantime i'm very thankful as always for this opportunity to make uh, money and be valuable to other folks and that's been great so anyways just sort of looking forward to the next phase i guess as it were um somehow i'm gonna have to find some balance there you know i can't do the 10 hour five day a week um boat work it just kills me beats me up but i also you know need to do some so i'll find a balance somehow um on that note i did get to see one of my great boat building buddies who i haven't seen for a long time he's my um, i call him my farm partner because we share the same farm animals and farm stuff and uh he called me and i went over to his place yesterday and we heard rounded up some sheep rounded up his flock and i was able to bring home a couple more rams and a ewe and a baby lamb a ewe lamb so i got a few more sheep in the pasture now and that's exciting i'll have some rams to put into the freezer this fall thanks to my friend um no thanks to the cougars <laughs> hopefully they'll stay away my new fencing should keep the sheep in safer spots <clears throat> so keep my fingers crossed about that but that's kind of exciting moving forward with some farm goals growing my flock and my flirt <laughs> herd and flock together um and that's you know something that I, has been a priority for the last over the last year since i turned to zero carb and realized i wasn't going to be gardening and i was going to be focusing more on animal husbandry so that's the fencing and then increased animal um capacity so yeah that's exciting moving forward on goals there it's funny how that happens just little by little day by day seems like i keep making progress even when i'm not pushing on you know i just just keep them in my brain keep my focus on my goals and uh and it seems like i'm able to make progress so feeling really good about that feeling good about just about everything you guys um so and looking forward to having some more time really looking forward to spending some more time with you guys making some videos i promise i'm gonna do it i know i keep saying it um but i'm you know i'm real excited about um photography and videography videography as a hobby so uh that's something that i'm looking forward to growing with and um you guys are uh great subjects to experiment on not really just i'll subject you to my silly little videos once in a while and hopefully some original music to go with those and other other creative outputs because i am missing my creative outputs that's another thing about the boat work is that 
the wiring feels like a creative output. It really does. Um, it occupies a lot of the same parts of my brain and my hands. And, you know, when I get done, I have something to look back on. But what that seems to do is sort of suck a little bit of my motivation when I get home to do those things. So I'm looking forward to getting away from that and getting back here and getting some creative juices flowing. So I was hoping to do some landscape in the summer and get some plants in and, and work some creativity that way around this property up here. But looks like that's going to be next next spring, I think. So anyways, I'm sort of fading. I'm uh, ready to start my day. It's almost 730, sort of a late Sunday. I'm going to just putter around today, you guys, and rest up and get ready for the week. I'm going to go in this week and try and wrap that boat up. I'm, I'm waiting for the guys to finish, you know, a door for all my displays or the ceiling for all my lights or things like that. I'm way ahead, but hopefully they'll uh, be getting caught up and I can get in there and, and wrap her up. So I don't think I'll be all the way done because I think I'll see this boat through to delivery, but I'm probably just going to have a couple days of work this week, I'm guessing, and then maybe another few next week, and I think that'll be delivery time. So we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> but in the meantime, I hope you guys all have a fabulous week. Hope you're all feeling as good as I am. Let me know what I can talk about with zero carb stuff. You know, it's such a simple way of life. Um, and way of eating, I feel like I don't have much to share, but uh, part of that is just my schedule and priorities too. I'm going to get back to storyboarding some things and, and share with you guys some of the things I've learned and am continuing to learn um, as I go down this path. But uh, in the meantime, if there's anything I can talk about that you're interested in, let me know. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So hope you guys all have a great week. Hope you're feeling great. And as always, thank you so much for listening and watching. And I'll see you next week. See ya.